Hello everybody and welcome to the video. So today I want to show you how to create on-screen tabs for your guitar playthrough, bass playthrough, whatever you want to do. The software we are using today is DaVinci Resolve 17 and the other tab software is Guitar Pro 7. So I start in Guitar Pro. So everything I'm going to tell you today is just recommendations. You can tweak it to your likings, but this is how I would do it. So I'd go ahead and just show the middle window of it. If you have a longer project, I recommend setting the screen to horizontal so it can play through smoothly. The next thing you want to do is to press Command, Shift and 5. This will create a window which you can select what portion of the screen you want to record. I cannot show you this right now because I am screen recording, but I will show you a screenshot of it right here. So the next thing we're going to do is to switch to our video editing software. In this case, as I mentioned, this is DaVinci Resolve, but it works with other softwares just fine. So I put everything we need today in this, in this timeline and just aligned it so we don't have to bother about this. The first thing I want to do is to click on this settings portion here, click transform, hold option and you can drag this clip wherever you want. I think on the bottom of the screen it looks the best but as I said that's up to you. The next thing I want to do is go to the inspector and turn the opacity down to let's say 85 something in this area so it looks a little bit more implemented. If we have a darker video like this one is and want to make a little bit more, let's say, moody or something, the easiest way to invert the color is to go to your color tab, take this little arrow right here and just take it to the bottom. As you can see, you are inverting the colors right here. And this is basically it. I can show you here on full screen when I'm play but my computer is a little bit overwhelmed by screen recording and video editing but I will put the the finished project at the end of this video so yeah that's basically it if you have any questions how to to create on-screen tabs let me know down in the comments if you like this video let me know as well if you want to subscribe feel free doing so and yeah I will see you in the next one thanks